The Hopkinton boys tennis team is back at practice and after missing the tournament last year, a more experienced Hillers boys squad is looking to take the extra step this season. This year we're, we're looking forward to a productive year. We've, we haven't had that many of our players actually move on. We have a lot of returning players, especially up in the one, two, and three position. I think what's going to help us this year is we have a couple freshmen that have come in. They've made the varsity team. They're working hard. So what's definitely going to help us this year, um, as opposed to last year, I think, is our depth. Um, and certainly at the number one, two, and three spots and taking a look early on, you know, we're certainly very early on in the season. So there's still a lot to, to be told there as the story moves forward. But as of now, just taking the quick early looks, especially at our one, two, and three, they look like they're a lot stronger than they were last year. A lot more athletic, playing a lot more uh, with a lot more confidence. So... You know, look, looking forward to a great year going forward. I think we're looking really strong this year. We have a, a lot of depth and um, we're, we have a lot of strong players that we brought in who are new who will take spots in the lineup, no doubt. And we're going to hopefully make the tournament and end up doing really well. Um, we're definitely stronger than last year. We have two good incoming freshmen. We still don't really know where they're going to be in the lineup, but they'll definitely be starters. I think that one of them will probably go into doubles, and that's where we had some trouble last year. So I'm expecting a good season. Captains Will Nado and Luke Whitehouse talked about their experience on the tennis courts. Uh, I started playing tennis about five years ago um, up in Vermont over the summer for a team. And I played every summer and then my freshman year I tried it for the team and I ended up making varsity. And since then I've been playing pretty continuously up until now. Uh, I started playing tennis at the beginning of eighth grade and then I've been on the team since my freshman year and I'm a junior currently. All right, um, how have you liked uh, playing here at Hopkinton? Oh, I love it. Uh, it's, the team's more like a family, and we always get along so well. Even though we might not all have been friends before the season, we come out being friends after, and it's just a really good bond and experience to have. I asked if the weather has played a factor during the cold and windy opening days of practice. Yeah, a lot of wind today, and we're used to that, being on the top of the hill here. So. Um, being unpredictable is what we used to up here. You know, I always tell the kids, you know, there's, you, you can look at it two ways. Yeah, it's challenging, but at the same point, it's challenging for both players. So I guess we try to use it a little bit to our home court advantage. We know how crazy it can be up here. Um, so the rain, rain is obviously an issue. You know, we do what we can when we can't get out on the courts, so always trying to get better, whether it's, um, you know, doing some workouts in at the fitness center, getting some runs in getting all that conditioning in when we can't get outside. So always taking every step that we can to get better, regardless of whether we're outside or inside. All right, uh, what are some of the drills you're working on uh, right now in practice? Well, believe it or not, uh, when it comes to drill and skill play, you would think that early on in the season that would be something that you work with. But um, having so few days with the rain, with the elements, and I know we open up, I believe, on the 6th, which is next Wednesday, it doesn't give us that much opportunity to get a lot of that skill and drill work in. That usually comes more as the season goes on, and the reason for that is we have to establish a ladder. The MIA, um, by rule, we have to establish a ladder, like our number one has to play number one, number two, and then our first doubles have to prove that they can beat our second doubles teams, whoever those lineups you know, work out. And there's certainly a lot of those lineups and a lot of potential lineups that you can go with. So it's a matter of playing those challenge matches, those first two, three, four, five practices going forward. And oftentimes you're still playing those challenge matches well into the season. So in terms of the, the drills and skill development, that will come. Um, but that typically comes a little bit later as opposed to sooner, just the way that it happens to work out. All right. How the practice has been? Obviously some crazy weather, of course, today with the wind. Yeah, the windscreens are getting worked on they should we're trying to get them up but other than that it's more just like on and off the weather's always unpredictable so rain or shine we're always either in the gym or out here working hard it's a little cold but i think it'll warm up soon which is good and as soon as we get windscreens up we'll be uh safe from most of the winds so that'll help a lot coach miller mentioned the next couple of weeks is going to determine a lot as far as the lineup last year we had um two of our players that are actually brothers um, same age, same grade, 
and they played number one and number two for us. And although it's very early and it's tough to predict, um, it looks like there's a good chance that they may play one and two again this year. Um, who plays the number one and who plays the number two? Um, that's yet to be determined. I mean, we've been playing some challenge matches today, and I think it would be a little bit too early for me uh, to say who came out on top because that's always subject to change. Like you said, we could be playing some more challenge matches um, at the end of the week or at the beginning of next week. And whoever won today, you know, that's always subject to flip-flop. But uh, we have a couple scrimmages coming up. We have scrimmages coming up on Wednesday and on Thursday. So kind of looking forward to how they're going to do with some kids that they might not necessarily know. Um, coming out here and obviously the kids, you know, play in the clubs and whatnot. It's a different ball game a lot of times when you get out here with the elements. At times it can be more of a mental game than it is a physical game. So we're looking forward to find out what we have against uh, some of those other teams and some of those other opponents early in the year. All right, Coach, best of luck this year. Thank you, appreciate it.